Today is our last lesson for this week. So if you haven't caught our huge discounts or giveaways yet, today is yet another day, a huge opportunity for all of you guys on YouTube and Facebook to get the best discounts of ours and also to get our awesome giveaways, okay? As always, we have a two hour live stream, two hours of uninterrupted joy. During these two hours, guys, we actually have very, very um, many things to do, such as we will be talking about this portable power station, so we'll now have the discounts that only you can see. And attention, please, all of the discounts are only available during the live stream, okay? Once the live stream is over, discounts are gone too, so please be quick and grab those discounts during the live stream. Okay, and as always, we also have a giveaway, guys. So what are we giving away? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. So we give away K2 power banks. Those are very cool 130 watts power banks that can charge your laptops, your phones, and other gadgets. We also give away our hat from Bluetti. You'll probably remember it. And we give away the t-shirt from Bluetti. Our winners will be picked up from Facebook and YouTube, so please be active on those platforms. If you haven't followed us yet, make sure you actually follow us as it's necessary participate in our giveaway. So here is our Facebook and YouTube. Facebook is Bladdy Global and YouTube is Bladdy Official and uh, Bladdy Support. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Bladdy underscore official, on Twitter and on other social platforms. So guys, to get our giveaways, you just have to be our follower, you have to give us your like, share with your friends, and be active in the comments as our winners are chosen from the comments section. Speaking about comments section, all of the discounts will be today in the comments section, okay? So make sure that you check the comments and you click on those links that Bladdy Official sends on YouTube and on Facebook if you want to get the best prices ever. One more time, guys, Bluetti. What is Bluetti? Well, probably here for the first time. Bluetti makes one of the best, if not the best in the game, portable power stations because those are eco-friendly, gas-free, very quiet and cost-effective. They're also relatively lightweight and very lightweight, as we will be talking about today, about EB3A, okay? It's really lightweight, but we still have some bigger portable power stations as right here. So there is no inferior or superior, they're just for different needs. So choose the one that you love the most. And without further ado, let's get started. And let's kick things off with the smallest, the cutest one on my desk today is AB3A, okay? So we were just thinking, how about we do a little un unboxing here, okay? So we brought this box. This is when you receive your EB3A. It comes in this nice white box, okay? So let's unbox it together, shall we? Okay, let's open it up. All right, so what is in the box? In the box, on the top, first of all, you have this nice envelope from Bluetti, okay? Inside this envelope, you have your warranty. Because for all products from Bluetti, it doesn't matter what products these are, portable power stations, DC charging enhancer, um, maybe solar panels, you will have a warranty for at least 24 months and up to four years, okay? We wanted to have absolutely hassle-free warranty. Number two is a user manual. A user manual is really good, written in good standard English, and it has both geeky details for people who love electronics and who understand maybe even more than I do, more than we do, and also very user-friendly for those who use portable power station for the first time. So really easy to figure out how you actually want to use it. So we have this uh, manual right here. Okay, now let's remove this protective layer that protects our portable power station during transportation and this plastic layer that protects mainly from scratches. Okay, and there we go, guys. So here is the EB3A itself, okay? So the first and most eye-catching thing is the size, how small it is, okay? Which begs the question, how powerful is it? Is it 
powerful enough, okay? So we'll talk about this later. But for now, what else do we have in the box? Here we have some cables. So this cable is clearly to charge from solar panels, okay, from your PV. All right, we have one cable, very good. The second cable is here on the bottom, okay? So let's take a look what kind of cable this is. This is an AC cable. You might say, Tim, you forgot to put adapter in. Where is the adapter at? Well, we don't need an adapter for now, guys, because the adapter actually is built in, built inside EB3A. You don't need an adapter. It is inside already. So all you wanna do is just plug it in, okay? Insert this this way and plug in your wall outlet and recharge EB3A from the wall outlet with this cord. And if you want to recharge it from your solar panels, use this cord, as simple as that. Okay, we don't include the car charging cable, but you can purchase it on our website, it's very cheap. So just go to bladdypower.com and purchase the car charging cord there if you, if you need to. Car charting is the slowest way to recharge it, but still, it's an option. Okay guys, now to anticipate your questions, you're probably wondering how powerful is EB3A, because you know what? It's really easy to prejudge, it's very small. So what can it do? Well, guys, how about this? It has 600 watts AC pure insane wave inverter, and the surge is 1,200 watts. The capacity is 268 watts hour. How about the battery? What chemistry do we have inside? We have lithium iron phosphate battery, or Life PO4, with 2,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of its original capacity. We have nine outputs, both DC and AC, and DC includes a wireless charting output on the top there, which is rated at 15 watts to deliver cordless power to your gadgets, such as your phones, your earphones, cases, etc. Nine outputs. And as always, it's eco-friendly, it's gas-free, it's very cost-effective, and it is quiet because it even has a quiet mode we'll talk about later. And I would say, guys, you know, kind of long story short, the cool thing about the EB3A is really its compact size. It is just so portable. You can literally just carry it around when you're on the go, going to the beach or on a small picnic, on a small meetup with your friends. Treat it as a power bank, which is very powerful and has nine outputs, right? So this is really a good entry level and this capacity of 600 watts allows you to even use AC uh, tools, AC devices, no problem. So one more time, nine outputs, right? And let's talk about them in details, shall we? Okay, let's take a closer look. So number one is of course the car charting port, okay? A cigarette lighter, this is a DC output, a 12 volt car charting port right here. So I don't guess what to use it with, but it's a 12 volt, 10 amps, so 120 watts. So basically, maybe your fridges, any devices that can use the cigarette lighter port, if they are 12 volt and 10 amps, go ahead and plug them in and, you know, charge it from here. Okay, next we have this two 12 volts and 10 amps DC outputs. Okay, they are here, two of them. Next we have USB-A ports. We also have two of them as this five volts and uh, three amps, standard 15 watts USB-A port. So this is for some low energy consuming devices such as your fans, your LED lights, your Android phones, and really many, many devices can use USB-A port. And bordering it is a Type-C port. And Type-C is rated at 100 watts, which is true, and it's very fast, will give your phone or your MacBook a rapid charge because it's rated at 100 watts, pretty quick. Okay. And finally, on the top, we have this wireless charting output, which is rated at 15 watts. You can just place your phone here in the center and take into account your phone supports 
wireless charting, you can chart it no problem. Okay, right now let's move to AC because AC is really cool here. Again, these are AC outputs. We have two of them and they're rated at 120 volts and 600 watts sine wave. And the surge is 1,200 watts. So this is really cool. Nine versatile outlets for all devices, be it your phones, be it your computers, be it your switch, I don't know, AC devices, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, and also guys, we have the light here. So the light is pretty cool. Okay, it's, it's bright. So it has two brightness mode to, and uh, it has an SOS mode. Okay, so this is it. And you guys can also see the screen lit up. So this is the screen. Let's talk about the screen a little bit. So this screen is pretty simple, but really there is everything we need on the screen. So let's take a closer look. So number one, we have the battery life, okay? So the battery life, it shows the percentage. Next, we have the input and the output. So right now it's zero, the input and the output is zero because we haven't plugged in anything. And here it shows the approximate time during which uh, we can use this portable power station, you know, if we um, keep using the current load. So for example, you know, if we plug something in and it draws, let's say, I don't know, 200 watts, it will show like we can use it for like 10 more hours or 15 more hours or like five more hours, just to give an example here. And also um, the percentage is precise. So before it was like, uh, we used to have those bars, like 80%, 60%, but right now we move to a more precise percentage. And let me show you, let me give you an example. So here we already have this uh, EB3 we're actually using. So right now it's at 63%, you guys can see, it's a precise percentage. 63%, okay? This one uh, is, we just, uh, as you guys saw, we just put out from the box, so this one has 100%. And by the way, if I want to turn the screen on, I have to click on any of those output buttons, either here or here. But just clicking on them doesn't turn them on, I mean, doesn't turn them, uh, the AC outputs or DC outputs on. If I actually want to start using them, okay, I have to long, long press, and right now AC and DC is on. Okay, the screen is pretty cool because right now you cannot see much, so we only have the input here in watts, the output in watts, the frequency 60 hertz is standard in America. We also have ECO, what is ECO? Probably can't see because it's very bright in the studio, but ECO stands for an ECO mode, and ECO mode, it means the output will turn off after four hours of low load or no load. We're talking about AC outputs, DC outputs will not be affected. So this is the eco mode, but also guys, we have much more than this. So you can only say it right now, because right now we, we are not using it with anything, but if you have some problems, like for example, low battery, as you guys can see on the screen right now, right? Uh, you will have this notification that the battery is low, battery will, will uh, turn red and you will have low battery, okay? You will also have a temperature a notification, a short circuit or overload, okay? All on this, uh, on the bottom part of the screen written in red. So uh, you will see, you know, if something goes wrong, you will get a notification. This is pretty cool. And also, uh, EBITRA supports UPS mode. So you guys probably know what UPS is. If you suffer from like some short time power outages, you know, if the power just suddenly gets cut off, you can use it uh, as a UPS device. And if you use it as UPS, you will also see UPS lit up here. So. Um, other than that, we also can see the frequency and it's either 60 hertz or 50 hertz, depending on the country and specific place. And this is pretty much it. Oh, one more thing is turbo charting because it does support turbo charting. So if you're in a turbo charting mode, you will also see like this kind of lightning character on the uh, top part of the screen. So again, the screen is really user friendly and it's not hard to use it at all. And we can see everything we really need to see from the screen, including precise percentage, including the hours left when we use it or when we charge it, we will see 
uh, how much time left before it's, it fully charges. And we can see if some problems occur, like an overload, um, a short circuit, or maybe the temperature is too high or too low, you will get a notification here on the screen and you will be able to fix it really quick. Okay, this is pretty much it about the screen. Right now, after we've talked about the screen, guys, you're probably wondering how, co how can we actually recharge it? Because it's still small, so if you're running your AC devices or even two AC devices at the same time, you will get it um, discharged pretty quickly, I would say. But the good thing is that you will also be able to recharge it very quickly. And there are actually three ways to recharge it. AC from your wall outlet, the second one is solar from solar panels, and the third one is car charging. So if you recharge it from your solar panels, the maximum solar input you will get is 200 watts. If you recharge it from your AC input, right, you will get maximum 350 watts. And if you combine solar plus AC input, you will get the input of 430 watts maximum under turbo mode. We'll talk about turbo mode later. And you can also recharge it from your car cigarette lighter if you're on the go on a rather long trip as it will take around 3.3 hours to recharge it from uh, your car cigarette lighter. So it's, it takes time, right? Okay, so these are the ways to recharge it. So you guys just think about this way. If you use it home as a UPS device or maybe you use it outdoors, you can just recharge from your wall outlet. You can also recharge from your solar panels, from a car cigarette lighter. And if you need to recharge it really fast, you can combine AC and solar under turbo mode. And the turbo mode is in the app. So yes, we do have the app. So we'll talk about it. And this, so we actually have two absolutely same EB3Es, as you guys can see. This one, we actually using it because you guys can see the battery is 43%, uh, right? It's 63%, right? And this one we just put out from the box. So um, I think it's just gonna be more interesting if I show you guys this one because we've actually been using it for a while. So we'll be, te we'll be keep, in t keep testing this one. Uh, you know, because we want to show you kind of a real life usage. So we'll be using it with different devices today and we'll be looking at the screen, what is going on. But right now, guys, I have very good news. We have discount right now, okay? We announced the discount, so you guys can see right here. We have the special price for today. So original price is um, $249 and discount price is $239. As you guys can see, the discount is on the screen, but the discount, the discounted price is in the comments section, the link. The link is in the comments section. Please check the comments on Facebook or on YouTube or on both, and you will get this discounted price. You will see the link. Just click on that link and go purchase at a discounted price. Save a lot of money. And discounts are only valid during the live stream, guys. Please keep this into account. Okay, uh, keep this in mind uh, because um, maybe, you know, it's counterintuitive, but yeah, discounts are only here during the live stream. Okay, so mm, we'll be using it with different devices, like for example, this USB fan. Okay, so this is a very nice USB fan. You probably saw those on, uh, in the office, on the desks. This is, uh, this is a wired USB fan. It is USB type A because it doesn't draw too much current, too much, too much power, sorry. So um, let's see what we can do. So I plug it in. I have to turn AC on, uh, DC on because we're using DC right now. Uh, it's on right now. Okay, and the fan, uh, the, the fan is running. Okay, great. The fan is running, but the load is so low that we don't see, oh, two watts. Okay, right now we see two watts right here. So, okay, guys. We also have this LED lamp right here. Let's go ahead and plug the LED lamp in. Maybe you outdoors on a romantic um, dinner or something, or maybe on a date and you want some LED lamps. So here's the LED lamp right now on. And let's see, it's still two watts. It's still two watts. But you know what? I also brought this drone battery. 
you probably already know this drone battery and this is for our AC outlet. So I plug it in, I have to turn AC on and right now we have DC at 3 watts only, super low. Okay, right now the AC is on and um, let's see if it's charting or not. It's not charting, oh yeah, it started charting right now and you guys can see the spike, it went up dramatically, 110, 111 and we can see 63% this is the percentage and you guys can see 1.4 hours, approximately 1.4 hours if we keep using it the way we use it right now. So we can not only rely on this percentage, but also on this time. One more thing is that we have AC and DC on right now. So if you turn one of those outputs off, it will of course save the energy. So you can see those icons of AC and DC here, okay? So if you don't use them, please remember to actually turn them off. Okay, so I'm using three devices right now. Two from DC outlets, USB-A, five volts, and um, uh, USB-A is five volts and three amps, so 15 watts, okay? And I'm using an AC outlet, 120 volts and 600 watts. So as you guys can see, Right now, it draws 112 watts. And what if you want to use it with other devices? Let's say with your iPhone, like let's say the latest iPhone, or is it the latest iPhone? I'm not certain. Anyway, iPhone 13. So if it is with iPhone 13, which is around 13 watts hour, you can give your iPhone 12 to 17 full charges. This is pretty cool, right? If you use it with your MacBook, which you can actually do from this um, USB Type-C 100 watts outlet, and the MacBook is 409, uh, 409.9 watts hour, so you can give your MacBook uh, five to six times of, five to six charges, full charges. If you use it with a drone battery, like this one, for example, which is 43 watts, you can charge your drone five to six times. If used with your camera, okay, if you charge your camera, which is 16.4 watts hour, you can charge a camera from 10 to 15 times. Let's say used with your power tools, okay, you want to fix something outdoors, you take it with you and use it with your power tools that are around 80 watts, you can use it with your power tools for two and a half to three hours. If you use a small refrigerator, or not actually too small, 90 watts, you can charge your fridge, you can, let's say, run your fridge uh, for two to two and a half hours. And finally, if you're using, for example, a light, which is around 10 watts, you can run your light for 22 hours. If you use it with your TV, um, that is, let's say, 80 watts, you can use it with your TV for three hours. So these are some real world numbers. Uh, still, I don't recommend you rely on those numbers because in real life, you probably would love to use different devices simultaneously. Like right now, we're running two DC devices, an LED lamp and a fan, and we're also charging our drone battery from AC outlet. And uh, if my phone needed to charge a little bit, I would put it on the top on this wireless charging pad too because it's just so nice, no cords needed. So in a real world, those numbers would probably be lower, but still guys, as you can see, 600 watts here and um, the capacity, the overall capacity of EB3, EB3A is really, really good. And right now we also have a special discount, guys, as, that you can see in the comments. Just click on that link. And right now we're moving to the app because EB3A does have an app. You can download the app from Google Play or from App Store, uh, from Apple Store for iOS or Android. Okay, you can see those QR codes right now on the screen. You can scan those or just search Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti app. And this app is free of charge. I already have it on my phone, as you probably have guessed. Okay, so uh, my Wi-Fi is my Wi-Fi is off right now. I'm not using my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna be using my Bluetooth because it does use Bluetooth, okay? So my Bluetooth is on, you wanna make sure you open your Bluetooth. Then you go 
to Blueati app. <laughs> Oops, I already opened it. So here I have Blueati app. Let me give you a close look. Okay, that's what it looks like. Let's click on Blueati. Very good. Let's say, so this is what it looks like when you just enter Blueati app for the first time. Okay, if you want to, you can register your own account. You need an email for this though. You can log in then. Okay, if you don't want to do this, it's perfectly fine. Just click connect here and again connect. And you will see the list of portable power stations you will be able to connect with. I mean, like within the Bluetooth range. So right now I have EB3A. Let me click on it. And it is being connected right now through Bluetooth, okay? So it's relatively close, so it's not going to be a problem. Let me see if I can do it right now. Okay, connected. Successfully connected. Just click OK. And what can you see right here? Here you can see the battery life, okay? The battery life is accurate. It's 60%. Let's just double check it. Here, <laughs> I know you can't see. Anyway, 60% too, okay. Another cool thing is that we can control the DC and AC outputs through the app. So we can turn them on or off. Right now, as an experiment, let's turn DC off, shall we? So here is DC. I'm clicking on it, and it's off right now. If you guys could see right now, the DC light went off, and the LED lamp turned off too. The fan stopped working. Okay, how about turn it on back again? Let's do it. DC on, and as you guys can see, the lamp is on again. The fan is not on because it turned off. I have to turn it on here, but it's rather a problem with the fan, not the portable power station. Uh, and the light is back on again. We can do the same thing with AC. Turn it off and on. And also we can see the wattage, okay? So right now for our DC, it's two watts. And for AC, it's 110 watts because we're charging our drone battery. So we can see the wattage here and the wattage here. And the same way, when we charge our portable power station, we can also th see the input, the wattage of um, either our photovoltaic solar panels or our grid AC outlet, right? So right now, because we're not charging it, it's turned off. Okay. It is not even it, guys. We can even po power the station off from the app. So if we click on it, power off. However, as you guys can see, once you power it off through the app, you will not be able to turn it on through the app. So make sure that you uh, are next to the power station if you want to turn it back on because you can only turn it on manually. However, you can turn it off through the app. Okay. Now let's click on settings here. In the settings, we have charging mode. So when we're charging our EB3A, we can set the mode. Let's check what the modes are. So we have the turbo mode, and a turbo mode is a super fast charging mode. Let's say you're outdoors and you're using your EB3A with a blender and it ran out of power, the battery is dead. You want to recharge it, but you don't have much time. So you can do is you can recharge with AC outlet and with solar panels if you have this opportunity. And then you can uh, switch to the turbo mode to give it a super fast recharging, approximately within half an hour. You can also uh, turn turbo mode on when you recharge it from AC outlet or from solar panels. Anyway, when you turn turbo mode on, you will be able to give it a fast charting. We also have a silent mode. And a silent mode is suitable for those who is going to be resting or slipping next to portable power station in B3A. And a silent mode will give you a charting um, maximum 100 watts only. But the good thing is that it will be absolutely silent, so you will be able to rest or sleep next to it. And finally, a standard mode. I think this name is kind of self-explanatory. If you don't have, um, I mean, any urgent things to do and you have enough time, you can just set the standard mode 
and give it a nice charge, but it will take longer than under turbo mode. This is pretty much it about charting. Okay, I uh, said so standard. We also have this eco mode on and off. And again, eco mode is when there is no load or very low AC load, the power station will be turned off by itself within after four hours. So we can set it on or off. And we can even set, so I said four hours is actually the maximum time. You can set three hours, two hours, one hour. Okay. And LED lamp, guys. Let me show you some magic. So we can control this LED lamp through the um, app medium. Okay, great. Hi. Right now it's brighter, right? SOS. And off all entirely through the app. And finally, we have a firmware update. The cool thing about having an app is that, that, is that uh, if we have any updates, and we will have them, you will be able to update your portable power station just through the app. As you guys can see, we already updated it twice, and later, if we have some updates, we will be able to click here and update it. We also have a power lifting mode, Power lifting mode is when you need to charge very high energy consuming devices. You can switch to power lifting mode. As you guys can see, it says all right here. Again, very user friendly. So 1200 watts maximum. Okay. So remember turned off when done. This is pretty much all you have to know about EB3A app. Again, the app is absolutely free of charge and it's available for iOS or Android. The app is not necessary. You can totally do most things without the app. However, taking into account how user-friendly it is and free, I highly recommend you use the app. Because through the app, you will be able to choose the correct mode, the charting mode. You will not be able to do this without the app, okay? You will also be able to set the eco mode time frame from Oh, again, the eco mode is the AC will be turned off automatically after four hours or one hour or two hours or three hours. You can set the time yourself. You couldn't set it if you didn't have the app. So I highly recommend you guys download the app. You can also choose the charting mode depending on the situation you're in. You have to go, you have to, you know, you have some urgent things to do. Sure, choose the turbo mode and give it a fast charting up to 430 watts, this is AC plus solar combined, and recharge like within 20, 30 minutes even. If you want to, like let's say if you're in a tent, you want to slip, next to your portable power station, you can choose a um, silent mode. It will be really silent, the fence will, will go off and it's really silent. And finally, we have a standard mode. We can control the light through the app, we can control, we can turn it off through the app, However, we have turned on manually and uh, we can control the AC load, the DC load through the app, turn it on and off, on and off. We can see the load, the wattage, okay? And we also can update our portable power station over the air through the app. So I think the app is pretty cool. The app is available in English, in German, and in Chinese and in Japanese. So uh, you can learn the app from your app store. Okay guys, right now, one more time, maybe you missed it, what is in the box? Uh, because it's very important. What do you need to buy separately? What, do you, don't, what don't you have to buy separately? We actually have everything that you need. Uh, let me show you the cables again from this box as we just did a little unboxing. Okay, so uh, we have this, this is solar panels. This is, uh, this is the cable for the solar panels, okay? And this is the cable for AC. And I would love to show you how to plug it in because the AC cable doesn't have an adapter. The adapter is inside, uh, inside this EB3A. So I would love to show you guys, it's new, okay. I'll show you guys how we uh, plug it in. You know, me personally, and I'm sure you can relate, I always hated adapters. I think adapters are horrible. <laughs> but it's just like there is something you cannot do without because adapters are needed. And 
for sure, we still need adapters to charge some bigger devices of ours. It's kind of just what you have to put up with. But for some smaller portable power stations, we just decided to build it in here. So as you guys can see, I just plug it in and you see guys, the adapter is inside. It's really cool. Also, the length of this AC cord is sufficient. It's quite long. So really, really comfortable to use. I love it a lot. And finally, we have this um, solar panels cable. Oh, by the way, you can see all those accessories here on the screen, guys. All those accessories and everything we have in the box. So plug it in here and just connect to your solar panels directly. As simple as that. Okay, very good. So uh, right now let's talk about dimensions. The length of EB3A is 10 inches. The width is 7.1 inches. The depth is 7.2 inches. And the weight is only 10.14 pounds. It's ultra lightweight. It also has this carrying handle. So it's ultra lightweight. I absolutely love how lightweight it is, especially taking into account it has 600 watts AC appearance and wave inverter and 268 uh, watts hour of capacity. It's just uh, absolutely awesome how lightweight it is. And again, in the box, we have the AC turning cable, the PV turning cable, the uh, certificate of quality, the user manual, and the warranty. This is it. You can purchase a car charging cable separately on the website. The price is really low. And also you can purchase solar panels of ours if you don't have your own solar panels and you want to recharge your portable power station with the solar panels, which is one of three ways to recharge it. Again, guys, please take a look at all those accessories right now. And here's the original price and discounted price and discounted price is only valid during the live stream. So please make sure that you are quick enough to save the money and you know to have happy shopping today with us okay and by the way here we still have the app if you have eb3 already and you want to download the app go ahead and download the app the app is absolutely awesome if you have other portable power station of ours chances are you can also use the app with them either with bluetooth or wi-fi or both so make sure that you also check it out Okay guys, let's keep moving. And by the way, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Um, I cannot see your comments right now, but my colleagues will reply your questions. So make sure guys, you are active in the comments. And one more reason to be active in the comments is for our giveaways. If you want to get our giveaways, also be active in the comments. Okay, right now, guys, we are about to move because EB3 is great, okay? I just like how small it is, how powerful it is. However, if you're looking for a portable power station to back you up during power outages, or maybe you're living off grid, you need really a big power, big source of energy, then you can go ahead and purchase other portable power station of ours, such as, for example, AC200 Max. Because AC200 Max is really big. I have it right here. We'll move to it very soon. For now, just one more time, guys, I encourage you to follow us on all the platforms on YouTube, Blady Official and Blady Support, on Facebook, Blady Global, on Instagram, Blady underscore official, and on Twitter. And be active in the comments. If you have any questions, again, let us know. And uh, the most active in the comments gets chosen for the giveaway. We're giving away K2 Power Bank. We're giving away our Blady hats, Blady t shirts, and we also giving away. Uh, discounts, as I say. Okay, one more time, guys. Uh, maybe we didn't pay enough attention to power lifting mode, and I also would love to show you how to use it in real life. So, power lifting mode is for some high energy consuming devices, like for example, the sandwich maker right now. So, let's, I think this battery is fine already. Okay, let's turn, uh, le let me try this sandwich maker. So, I'm not even sure if we have anything inside, but just for the sake of showing you guys this. So right now it doesn't draw, at, oh, it's on. Is it on already? Oh, it's only two watts, okay. I thought it was like 200. Whoa, 634, okay. 
uh, and the maximum is 600 watts. So if I don't turn the turbo mode on, it will shut off automatically because the maximum is 600 and right now, overload. As you guys can see, overload, so it's zero. So let's try one more time, let me plug it out and then I want to turn, I want to turn the turbo mode. I have the app, remember, I have the app. So what I want to go, go, do is to go to settings right now uh, and choose the power lifting mode, okay? Power lifting mode. Okay, and I click OK. Let me turn it on. AC on. Okay, overload is gone. Thank you, overload. And let me plug it in. Power lifting is on. I just opened the power lifting mode. And come on. Let's turn the AC on. Okay, AC is back on. Good. Power lifting mode is on. 559, 560, 562, 58, 57. That's a 560. Yeah. And right now it's running perfectly. Even taken into account, it's very close. It's almost like the maximum wattage we can do. So power lifting mode is on. This is why we're able to do this. Power lifting mode is when you uh, charge an, or run devices that are either 600 watts or more. It can be actually as high as 1,200 watts. However, you will not be able to do it for too long. Still, good news is that these devices, they don't take that long, okay? Because it only takes around 10 minutes to do a sandwich or a coffee. <laughs> How about we even try plug this battery in right now and try how much we can get. So let's see, let's see, 516. I think it's because the sandwich is almost ready right now, but uh, luckily it will go up. Power lifting mode is still on. Okay. So yeah, you see guys, it handles perfect. It handles it perfectly. One of uh, one or more reason to download the app is that you can set the power lifting mode there and uh, you can do devices that, you can use devices that are very high energy consuming. I can feel the fans are on right now, literally like blowing the air. So again, let's check 535, perfect. Okay, great. So this is the, uh, the beauty of power lifting mode that you can, you, can, you can set in the app. Okay, great. All right guys, so Again, uh, this is um, one of the, my favorite things about EB3A is that you can, uh, you can literally use it with so many devices. And, you know, uh, for example, devices like a sandwich maker, a coffee maker, they don't require too much time. However, they require a high power. So there is kind of like a trade-off. Uh, I mean, it's not really a really trade-off, it's like, it's just a genius idea that Blatty engineers came up with. How about we enable this mode that we'll be able to give a very high uh, output, but for a short time, for a short time. And again, it probably will not be as high as, um, as bigger devices of ours, but still guys, this is really a trade off because of a compact size and like exceptionally lightweight, only 10.14 pounds. Let's check it again one more time. What, is, what do we have? Five, uh, 538, 542, okay, good. Um, I expected it to be higher actually, but I, I wonder, could we turn it to power lifting mode off right now? Because it's actually under 600 watts. Oh, you know what? What happens? Like uh, once it turned the power lifting mode off, the wattage goes up. This is pretty cool. Okay, and you guys can see we only have like 0.1 hour. And the battery dropped from like 45% to 38%. So it discharges quite quickly, but the good thing is that you can also recharge it at the same, at the same speed. Okay, right now we have a lucky time, our giveaway time. We announce winners of our giveaways every 20 minutes. And right now is our first giveaway. We're giving away K2 power bank. It's a cool power bank, charges your laptops, your phones, your other gadgets. 130 watts max can charge your gadgets for eight plus hours. 
and right now we're giving it away. Let's see how a winner is. Be active in the comments, guys. Show us that you're here. Okay, our first winner is from YouTube. YouTube, are you here? YouTube, make some noise. Okay, so congratulations to our winner, Hiker Doc. Hiker Doc! <laughs> Hiker Doc, you got our K2 power bank. Here's the power bank itself. Quite a good one, by the way, because it can charge your laptops, your computers, I mean, not, not computers, your laptops, your phones, your other gadgets. Congratulations. Okay, Hiker Doc, right now, I'm gonna need you to contact Avalon at bloody.com within 48 hours, okay? Avalon at bloody.com. Avalon, if you're here, reach out to Hiker Doc because our winners, they get so happy about giveaways, they totally forget who they need to contact. I checked their comments last time, it's like, Hold on, who do I need to contact? Who do I need to contact? Avalon at bloody.com. Okay, thank you. And if you want to win, just like Hiker Dog does, all you want to do is really so simple. I don't even want to say it one more time. You just have to follow us, share with your friends, give us a like, and be active in the comments, okay? Active in a good way. Be friendly, helpful for the community, not in like, the bad way. So, guys, um, we still have many giveaways. We'll announce winners every 20 minutes on Facebook and on Instagram. So please make sure, oh, sorry, on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure that you're here, don't go anywhere. Thank you, and we keep going. Let's take a look at our, on, uh, at our EB3A. What is happening? I think the sandwich is ready. So it turned off almost 36 watts only quite low okay and as you guys can see the time changed because the um, the load is lower right now so the time we can still use it for like 2.2 hours great okay let's probably keep moving guys uh, we talked enough about EB3A one more time we have a discount for it right now please take a look here we have the original price and discounted price and we also have a special bundle price for EB3A and for solar panels together because if you don't have solar panels, well, how can, re how can you recharge from solar panels then? Solar panels is a good way to recharge it because when you live off grid, you don't have an AC outlet, unless you do, probably don't have it there, right? So you can just recharge from solar panels and also solar is green, eco-friendly and it's just kind of cool. So. If you want to purchase EB3A plus one of our solar panels, we give you guys a special price right now. So for EB3A plus our PV200 with maximum input of 200 watts, as it says from the name, you can get a special price. Originally that would be $739, right now it's $729, okay? And enjoy $10 off compared to original price for limited time only. It's not a huge discount, but it's still better than nothing. And the same goes for EB3A plus PV120, solar panel with the maximum input of 120 watts. So in this case, the original price would be $539, and now it would be $529. So guys, please enjoy this um, discount from us. I'm sure discount will be uh, bigger for other models. This one is just, um, a quite a low price originally, so uh, just to encourage you guys during our live streams, this is like an additional $10 um, off discount. Okay, and again, discounts are only limited for the time to the time of our live stream. Let's sum it up, and a sandwich is ready, by the way, so let's check the load right now, only 31 watts, really low. EB3A, portable power station, 600 watts AC pure and wave inverter, 1,200 watts surge, 268 watts hour massive capacity lithium iron phosphate battery with 2500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of its original capacity. Eco-friendly, gas-free, quiet, cost-effective. And let me tell you three, my three favorite things about EB3A. Number one, it's compact size and it's lightweight, only 10.14 pounds. 
So raise to carry around really changes your understanding about portable power stations and you know actually shows you how they are really portable. Number two is fast type C charting rated at 100 watts. I am a MacBook user, so I really appreciate this fast charting from a type C uh, outlet. And number three is that the adapter for AC built in, okay, AC, I mean, um, alternate current. So it is built in. So if I want to recharge it from my wall outlet, I can, I don't need an adapter. The adapter is already here. And number four is that, uh, it's really easy to recharge from solar panels too. Just plug it in here and connect it to solar panels. This is it with one cable, no problem. I mean, the other cable will be attached to the solar panels already. If you purchase all solar panels, the cable is already attached to the solar panels. So you don't need to an adapter. You don't need to purchase anything separately. Uh, speaking about purchasing separately though, you can purchase our car charting cable on the website, bladypower.com. I don't remember the exact price, but it's not expensive. I guarantee that. And you can have three ways right now to recharge AC, solar, and car charging cable. You can also combine AC plus solar. This is a short information about EB3A. Again, guys, right now we have a special price, so please make sure that you use it right now. It's only available during the live stream. Please go to the comments section and click on that link, this link, uh, it contains discounts there. I don't know how it works. Do you go to the website directly or anything like that? But please just check the comment section. Okay, right now let's move to Bloody AC 200 Max because you know EB3 is fantastic and I don't know if you love it as much as I do. I think it's absolutely great. But we also have some bigger portable power stations, much bigger AC 200 Max. From AC200 collection, we have AC200, AC200P, AC200 Max. AC200 Max is by far the best, I guess, because of the AC pure and wave converter, the wattage, just the capacity, it's fantastic. So, 2200 watts AC pure and wave inverter, and the surge of 4800 watts. The capacity is 2,048 watts hour. The chemistry, as you probably have already guessed, is lithium iron phosphate battery. So this is like the newest, the best, the most reliable, the longest lifespan batteries. Uh, speaking about lifespans, this one has 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of its original capacity. And also, despite of being so powerful in terms of wattage, in terms of surge, and in terms of capacity, one more feature is that it's actually expandable. It's expandable with up to two B230s or B300s. You cannot expand with one B300 and B230 at the same time or vice versa. You can only expand it with the same um, expansion batteries. However, when expanded with, let's say, two B230s that we'll be talking about today, you will reach the capacity of 6,000 144 watts hour and when you expand with two B300s that are even more powerful you will reach the capacity of 8192 watts hour we brought B300 uh, B230 today so we'll expand it with B230 later however I don't want to do it too early because I don't want to have this misunderstanding that B uh, to, uh, AC200 Max can only work with uh, an expansion battery. Not at all. It does have its own battery, lithium iron phosphate, 3,500 plus life cycles, 2,048 watts hour of capacity, 2,200 watts AC pure and wave inverter, and 4,800 watts surge. So it's totally independent, totally fine if it works on its own. If you need an even higher capacity, sure, you can expand it. There are seven ways to recharge AC200 Max. We have AC, the wall outlet, we have our solar panels, we have our car cigarette lighter port. We also can recharge from a generator. We, call, we can also do it from a lead acid battery and from dual AC. The maximum solar input you can get is 900 watts. The maximum fast dual charging, this is solar plus AC adapter, is 1,300 watts. It also has a smart control 
and a monitor in Blatty app. Okay, let's talk about outputs right now because outputs is one of these things I really love about A700 Max. Specifically, it has all this versatile, 16 different versatile outlets. So let's take a closer look at them, guys. Okay, so starting with number one, which is our car cigarette lighter. This is the output. So this is to deliver the power from AC200 Max to other devices of ours. Bit a little fridge, bit of fan. I don't know what you guys are using with a cigarette lighter, but this is a very nice 12 volts and 10 amps cigarette lighter. Okay, now here, what is this, guys? You probably already recognize it. And if you do, well, then probably you live off grid, you live in the van, or at least you're in the van quite often, because this is for our RV lovers, for living off grid lovers. Really, uh, this is a bread and butter output for those who live in RV. I don't live in RV, so I don't know it very well, but this is 12 volts and 30 amps output. Okay, bordering it is a 12 volts and 10 amps DC output. We have two of them for Wi-Fi routers, for some older TV routers, for radios, for things like this. It's probably not really used by younger generation, but still we have it right here. USB-C 100 watts, MacBook, um, your phone, your other gadgets, 100 watts. Really high, really good. Then we have four USB-A ports rated at 18 watts. This is like three watts higher than normal. Normally it would be five watts, five volts, three amps. So normally it would be 15 watts, but right now it's 18 watts. And moving to AC outputs, we have 100 to 110 vo volts, 2000 watts for outputs, for AC outputs. And we have one 110 to 120 volts 2,200 watts output. This is for very high energy consuming devices, okay? This is really important. This is called NEMA TT30. Not sure if you have ever used it, but if you have some really high energy consuming devices, uh, go ahead, plug it in here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, it's very useful in RV, guys. Guys who live in RV, I know we have those in the comments section. Let me know. What are your favorite outlets when you live in RV? Is it NEMA TT30? Is it this 12 volt and 30 amp outlet? Let me know, guys. Okay, so great, guys. And we also have two wireless DC outputs here on the top. They are for your gadgets that support wireless charging. Newer phones do, some earphones cases do, some watches do, etc. 15 watts, and we have two of them. Okay, which kind of pushes me to the next part of our live stream, the screen. And the screen is really user-friendly, okay? The screen is fantastic. I think the screen is absolutely awesome. And let's talk about the screen just after we talked about um, the ways to recharge it, okay? So first, let's talk about how we can recharge it because this is really important. So there are many ways, as you guys remember, there are seven ways to recharge it. There are seven ways to recharge it. So this is AC, okay, this is your wall outlet. If you're home, if you don't mind plugging it into AC outlet, go ahead and do it this way, no problem, okay? If you have solar panels, or you can also purchase solar panels from us, from bladdypower.com, you can also recharge it from solar. You can also recharge it from another generator, from lead acid battery, as well as from car cigarette lighter port. So here is some data for you guys to prepare in advance. AC adapter, 400 watts. You will be able to recharge it within five and a half to six hours. Solar, maximum input, 900 watts. You will be able to recharge it within three to three and a half hours. This is, of course, with ideal sunshine, with ideal ambient temperature, around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and ideal angle, you place the solar panel to the sun at. One more option is a car outlet, either a 12 volt or a 20 volt car cigarette lighter, and you will get 100 watts or 200 watts, so you will be able to recharge it within 
10 to 20 hours correspondingly. One more is AC adapter plus solar at the same time and you're gonna love it because you will get as high as 1300 watts. This is of course on an ideal day with when the sun is shining brightly and the ambient temperature is not too high is ideally around 77 degrees Fahrenheit again. You know, it's really, it's really good weather and um, you're placing the um, solar panels at the good angle to the sun. So you will get maximum of 1,300 watts input together with AC adapter, of course. And dual AC is one more option. However, extra adapter is required, okay? Because we only give one adapter, AC adapter in the box. So if you want to do, have dual AC, you need an extra adapter. Uh, you can check our website, bladypower.com. And in this, in this case, you will get 800 watts of input and you'll be able to recharge within three to, to three and a half hours. So this is the way to recharge it. Great. Right now, let's move to the screen. Let me talk about the screen real quick because the screen is really good. We improved it. We constantly improving it and we improved it again. And then we will talk about the app because the app is also awesome. Okay, so the screen, guys, what do we have here on the screen? On the screen, we have the home page, okay? The home page. So here we have the battery life. The battery life right now is 45%. It's a precise percentage, 45%. If we click on it, we can see again the battery pack, one battery SOC, 45%, battery online or offline, yes, it is online, and battery stand, standby. So here we have two and three. What do those stand for? This is because, do you remember, I told you guys A200 Max can be expanded with, B, with two B230s or with two B300s. So when expanded, you will also see the battery life of the expansion batteries. So we can potentially expand it with two more batteries. So we will be able to see the battery pack, the battery SOC or the percentage, the battery online or off-life state and battery state here standby. Okay, let's go back. So here on the top, we have the input. When we're charging AC200 Max, we'll see how, much watt, how many watts coming in from our uh, PV or from our car power socket. We will see the input voltage and the input power. And the same goes for AC or for grid, input voltage and input power. So when we're charging it, we'll be able to see how many watts are coming in. Here is DC load and AC load. This is the output. This is to deliver power from a 200 Max to other devices. So if we click on DC here, we will be able to see how much power those DC outputs draw here. And also on the top, we have two wireless outputs, DC. So we will be able to see the output voltage, the output power, and we'll be able to see the exact information for each and every port. Let's go back. The same goes for AC, AC load. So not only we can see the input from the screen here, from the home page, but if we want to see a more precise information, we just click here and we can see the output voltage, the output power and the output frequency. So this is gonna be standard 60 Hertz in America. In other places it might be 50 Hertz, but here we will see the output voltage and the output power, the most important thing. Okay, if we want to turn the DC on, just turn on like this. If we want to turn AC on, we do the same thing. Okay, right now it's ready to be utilized and we can turn them off the same way. Right now it's off because I prefer saving battery. Okay, let's click on settings. What do we have in settings? Is it complicated? Mm, not at all. Here we have the language settings between English and Japanese. We have AC out output voltage we can control. We can set 100 volts, 110 volts, or 120 volts. Let's close it. AC output frequency, 60 Hertz or 50 Hertz. As far as I'm concerned, in America, it's mostly 60 Hertz, am I correct? However, because a bladdy is popular in many countries, in Europe, in uh, South America, in Asia, 
the frequency is different, so we have this ability to set it to 50 hertz or to 60 hertz. Next, DC input source. So this is the source of charging from, for AC200 Max. So if you charge it with your PV or photovoltaic or solar panels, please click on PV. If you're charging with other methods like a car cigarette lighter or AC outlet, please click on others. Eco, on or off. What is the eco? Eco or an econ mode or an eco mode, whatever you call it. Eco mode will shut down the AC outlets after four hours of a very low load or no load. As it says right here, all AC outputs will be cut off if there is no AC load for more than four hours. To save battery, the DC outputs will not be affected. Do you want it on or off? I prefer turning it on because the battery life matters for me. The battery life matters, so that's why I prefer to save the battery. Okay, next, Bluetooth state. Disconnect it right now. I can turn Bluetooth on, which is on right now, or off. This is vital if I want to connect it to my app because we only support connection through Bluetooth for S300 Max as we speak. So Bluetooth has to be on if you want to connect it to your app. However, if you don't want to connect to your app, you can also turn Bluetooth off. Buzzer setting. Buzzer setting, if something goes wrong, let's say an overload, overheat, a short circuit, you will get a buzz. Do you want to hear it? Do you not want to hear it? I recommend keeping it on. If you don't want it on, click off. Okay, touch sound. If you guys can hear, when I touch the screen, we have this very nice, satisfying sound. Okay, it actually works. Like a, like a very, very um, quiet beep sound. So if I want to turn off, I click here, and I no longer have this satisfying sound. However, if you don't find it satisfying, you can turn it off here. And restore factory settings. Are you sure you want to restore the device to its factory settings? Yes or no? Mm, sure, if you want to. If you probably clicked too many things and then you don't, don't even remember what you clicked and something is malfunctioning, you might as well want to, to, to reset it to the factory settings. Okay, next, uh, backlight brightness. So this is just like, you know, on older phones. Do you guys remember? If you want to control the brightness of the screen, you can either drag it or just click and control the brightness. It can be very dim. It can be very, very bright. Sleep time, here's it to never, which is kind of luxurious because in real life, you probably would love to save uh, some extra percent of the battery. So you can set it as low as 30 seconds, which means that the screw will be turned off automatically after 30 seconds of like, if you don't have any activity going on, like if you don't click on it or something. Um, you can also do one minute, five minutes and never as you want. Here's a day setting, okay the date uh, and the time setting. Actually, it's time we actually set the correct date and time. Okay, great. Um, or is it correct right now? Anyway, so let's go back, back. Data. What do we have in data? Data, nothing super important. So product information, this is useful when you run into some problems and you need to tell uh, the data uh, to the customer service or, you know, I, yeah, so we have with O here, we have the DS, DSP version, uh, ARM version, BMS or battery management system version, HMI version, and uh, others. Let's go to inverter and charger info. So here we have the option of PV, car charge, adapter charge, DC output, AC output. As you guys can see, this is the same one we could see from the screen, okay? Totally the same information as from the screen. Input voltage, input power, and outer voltage, out power, outer frequency. Let's go back. BMS maintenance. Again, the same one we can see from the screen when clicking in the center on the battery percent percentage. Let's go back. Alarm uh, history. So here are the alarms, okay, that happened to us, that happened to this part of a power station. We have the date. 2022 and uh, the month the day and we have the exact time 
11, 10, 50 seconds, 11, 10, 38 seconds. And we have the warning code, okay? And we have quite a long history of alarms if we need to uh, see what and when happened to our portable power station. If you want to click it, if you want to clean it, clear it, also click clear and clear alarm history. Yes, okay, it's clean right now. Okay, good. So um, this is pretty much it. On the bottom we have alarms. We also cleared them already, so we don't have any alarms here. Okay, guys, here we have the time and the exact time up to seconds, so 11, 11.53 right now. Um, this is pretty much it about the screen. Pretty much all you have to know about the screen, guys. Okay, right now, let's move to the app because we do have the app for AC, uh, for AC or Hotted Max. So the same, the same bloody, bloody app. Okay, let me show it to you guys. As you remember, we previously connected it to a other part of our station of ours. So I open the Blady app right now. I click connect, connect, and let's see if we can find AC 200 max. It says AC 200 max, and then the long number. I don't know what this number is, probably the number of this particular AC 200 max. Anyway, I see AC 200 max, and just click connect. You know, I'm a simple guy. Um, and I'm sure that you can use this portable power station even if it's if your first portable power station. Right now it says EB3 AC that's really connected and I kindly thank it, the app but I don't want it to be connected to EB3A so I have to disconnect it. I'm going to power it off right now or probably not because anyway. So let me connect it to AC 200 Max. This is what I want to do. Okay one more time. AC 200 Max. Yes. Please. <laughs> Okay, successfully connected to AC200 Max. Good. Right now I can see the battery life, 45%, 45%, all accurate and nice. Right now AC and DC is off. But let me impress you, if I want to turn it on, I can just do it like this. AC is on right now. As you guys can see, one of those icons is brighter than the other. And DC is on right now too. Oh my God, every time I'm literally so happy about this. I don't know, I just think it's, Super cool to have this app that allows you to control it, to control uh, the, it through the app. Uh, yeah, we have this LED lamp, very romantic. <laughs> we can record some YouTube videos right now with this atmosphere. Okay, uh, we see the battery life. Whoa, what happened? I clicked on it so we can see the pack one, SOC percentage, the mode standby, the split phase status, the pack so see, oh, this is for the second, uh, for the third battery that we don't have yet, but we will have, because we can expand it with another expansion battery. We did bring B230, so we will expand it with B230 in a moment. Okay, uh, DC load and AC load, DC load shows zero because for such a big guy as AC200 Max, having an LED lamp on is like nothing. So this why it doesn't show anything. Okay, pretty much it. Let's click on settings. Here we have auto sleep mode. Never, five minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. So this is like the time after which the screen will turn off. So I prefer clicking never. If you're not, if you don't have this go to save battery, just click never, you know. If you want to save battery, click like set the minimum time like 30 seconds. And firmware upgrade. We did have three upgrades, an upgrade of R A R R M, DSP, and BMS. No upgrades now, upgraded already. So we also will have PV input and grid input right now, both both zero volts right zero, zero volts right now. Okay, this is pretty much it again. If you just missed it, if you click on the battery you will see an explicit information about the battery. And let's check it one more time when we expand it with B230, okay? For now, guys, you can see those QR codes on the screen. Please scan them to download the app, Blue Eddy. It's free for iOS or Android. Okay, LED lamp is fantastic, thank you. And right now we have the uh, giveaway time. 
we're giving away our hat. Where is our hat at? I like the hat, it's black. Uh, so this time our winner is from Facebook because last time I was from YouTube. So Facebook, please make some noise. Guys, are you here? <laughs> Facebook, our winner, let us know that you're here. So this is the hat, okay? It says bloody. So our winner from Facebook is Greg Yawn. Congratulations! Congratulations, Greg. Here is the hat. Please pack it and send it to Greg. No, I'm kidding. Greg, you're getting a new hat because I already put this hat on. But however, Greg, please kindly contact Evelyn at Blady.com. Okay? Evelyn at Blady.com. Greg, congratulations. Greg, if you won this lottery, you either know me personally or you are very active in the comments which one is the case for this time guys of course i'm kidding nobody knows me so the only way to win is just to be active in the comments okay this is pretty much it be active in the comments and also follow us on facebook on instagram and on youtube and give us this thumb up guys because it really matters it you know guys the youtube algorithm they are like this if you give this thumb up uh, the youtube will recommend it to more users and we'll get more people in the live stream and uh, so please guys it's not hard at all just give us a like and share this live stream with your friends just like the act of sharing will also promote this live stream and more people will see it and you finally will not get suspicious oh yeah nice discounts but why they only why they only have like 20 people watching them well, this is because not many people just know about this last room. Not many people know those last rooms exist. So please share with your friends. Okay, right now, again, A so hard max, some general info. Does it have 240 volt split phase bonding? No, it does not. Scalability, it is expandable with B230s or it's expandable with B300s. This is what it's expandable with. Path through charting, does it have it? Yes, it does. It does have the path through charting. No problem. You can charge it and discharge it at the same time. Okay, dimensions. The length is 16.5 inches. The width is 11 inches and the weight is 61.9 pounds. This is quite heavy. Okay, the operating temperature, guys, you can run this AC100 Max anywhere from minus four to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. However, when you store it, we don't recommend you guys cross 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So like, uh, not, don't go to freezing temperatures, okay? 32 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit is perfectly fine. Certifications, it does have UL standard CEC, DOE, FCC, CA, Prop 65. And it does have a warranty for 24 months. So this is A to the 100 max. Capacity of 2004. 2048 watts hour and massive, massive capacity, uh, great input, um, many ways to recharge it and great AC pure sine wave inverter as you guys can see to uh, 1048 watts hour of capacity and as you guys can see right here, 2000 watts of AC output and even 2200 watts of AC output from this outlet right here. Okay. Right now, I think it's time we expand it because it works perfectly right now, as you guys can see. Uh, and what do we have in the box, by the way? So in the box, we have A200 Max power station itself. We have T400 AC adapter and a cable. Here it is. This adapter is quite powerful. Uh, PV charging cable. We have this PV charging cable for your solar panels. So this is gonna be XT90 to MC4. Okay, we also have a car charging cable included in the box. We also have XT90 aviation cable, and we have a QC certificate pass, a user manual, and a warranty card. This is what we have in the box. Let me show you the cables right now. The car charging cable, very stable by the way. Okay, this is the uh, PV cable, X90 to MC4 for your solar panels. And this is the uh, X90 to aviation cable. Okay, so those are the cables and the AC adapter, of course. Okay, guys, great. Right now, let's uh, try to load some devices and let me know, let me tell you 
how many devices you can power with a 200 Max. But also, you could extend a 200 Max with um, B230 or B300 and get even a higher capacity. If you expand the uh, ACE 200 Max with one B230, you will get a capacity of 4,098 watts hour. Okay, let's plug it in. This is the AC outlet. AC is on right now, and we can immediately see 800, 807 watts right now. Let's click on it again. The frequency is centered, 60 hertz, 120 volts. Beautiful, 19.920, 802 watts. Okay, right now, let's, let's try our uh, ice maker. Ice maker. An ice maker is here. Ice maker is using the AC cord too, so I want to connect it to the AC outlet. Quite heavy, so probably draws quite a lot of power. All right, so let me connect it in, on, okay. 803, the coffee is brewing by 1,700. 1, Do you guys see that? Did you guys catch that? This was like the spike, you know, the highest, the highest wattage. And then 921, 123. Okay, we save, we're in a safe, we're in a safe range because we can do, we can go much higher, no problem. So, of course, we could plug some other devices. I can also put my phone here on the top. So, is this he on? Let me check it. DC is on, so I can put it here in the center. Oh yeah. So, okay, 68%, 68%, great. Okay, now let's also fry some noodles or boil some water in this pan. This pan is pretty interesting because this pan also uses AC. So, I don't know guys, I don't cook, do you cook? So. 1,695, whoa, this is, oh, what did I click on? Uh, this is like a really high wattage, however, it can handle a 2,000 watts, so we're still safe, we're still fine. What, can we, what else can we load? I mean, that's a good question. Well, I don't even know, how about this drone battery? This drone battery also will give us some additional wattage, so I just wanna push it to the limits, you know? So let's c c connect the drone battery. Will it go up? Oh, it will not because the coffee is ready. It's, it's still on, but like it doesn't draw as much power as before. And sure, we can do some LED lamps for our DC outputs. USB type A. Okay, let's go back. So right now we have 936 watts for our AC output and hardly any output for our DC. Okay, so if we could kind of zoom out a little bit so we could see how many cords we have right here. Yeah, that would be really, really good. So look, the lamp, we have the ice maker. I didn't even know this machine exists before. This ice maker, this uh, coffee machine, this pan, this drawn battery right here, also this fan right now this office fan right people in the office use those fans a lot okay all right so right now it's 935 for ac and highly and hardly any output for dc and you see guys we're running all these devices so let's just imagine guys imagination we have a power outage so we don't have to shift our lifestyle at all we can just like go ahead and do the same thing, you know, just we, we want to plug in all the devices in our A200 Max. And this is just to prove how A200 Max is independent, independent and independent and can be used on its own. Also, it can be expanded with two or one B230 or two B230s, one or two B300s. Okay, so, so many devices. The fans are on right now. Yeah, the fans are definitely on because the load is quite high. 1,680, what happened? Oh, this is the water boiling, I guess. 
Okay. Okay, but still it works perfectly, flawlessly. Okay guys, super water. So, when it's expanded with 1B230, you can run your coffee maker and you can do 136 to 140 cups. If you run your electric grill, just imagine you plug an electric grill in this thing, but you also have an AC and B230 expansion battery. So you can run it for two hours. If you run a refrigerator, which is one, uh, 150 watts, 200 watts, you can run your refrigerator for 30 to 56 hours. If you run your air conditioner, which is 8,000 BTU, six to 14 hours, CPAP, 40 watts, 80 plus hours, light bulb, 10 watts, 100 plus hours. Isn't that great? Fantastic. Okay, right now guys, we have a special discount and I told you guys, you're gonna love it. So original price is $1,899. Discounted price is $1,799. Please enjoy this 100 off coupon right now. As you guys can see right here, please use it right now because all the discounts are only valid during the last and we only have oh, half an hour to go. Oh my God, let's speed up. Oh, before we speed up guys, we have one more uh, giveaway and we give away K2 power bank. Let's see who our winner is this time. This winner is from YouTube. So please, YouTube, make some noise. Let me know you're here, guys, from YouTube. Are you here? Type one in the comments. One, 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 one. Let's see how winner is. Okay. So our winner from YouTube is Eliana. Eliana, congratulations. It's E-L-I-A-N-A. Eliana, congratulations. Eliana, you won a K2 power bank. Please kindly contact Evelyn at bladdy.com within 48 hours. Evelyn at bladdy.com. If you want to win, just like Eliana does, all you want to do, guys, is to follow us, is to share this lesson with your friends, give us your likes, and be active in the comments. This is the last and the most important. Be active in the comments, okay? Be helpful for the community. Be nice and friendly. You know what? Honestly, I check the comments on YouTube and on Facebook every time, and I'm really happy what friendly community we have there. It's fantastic, guys, how you support each other, how you share your opinions, you know, your honest opinions, how you share advantages and disadvantages of a particular portable power station for a particular, like, task, right? For a living off grid, for having it as a UPS backup, as a back, uh, power outage backup, things like this. I just appreciate, guys, how friendly you are and how helpful you are um, to each other. So, right now, guys, let's talk about B230 expansion battery. And I have it right here. Um, there we go. So, there we go. This is the battery, okay? B230 expansion battery. First, it's called expansion battery but it can be used on its own, no problem. Sure. The capacity is 2,048 watts hour, 51.2 volts and 40 amps hour. The type of chemistry of the battery is lithium iron phosphate battery or life PO4. Life cycles are 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% off its original capacity. Uh, the management system is MPPT controller, BMS, etc. Okay, so this is B230. Uh, again, one more time, many people ask us, can you use B230 on its own? The answer is absolutely yes, no problem. Because guys, this is the battery, right? So the only question right now is, how can this battery deliver power to other devices? Well, through outputs. Do we have outputs? Oh, yes, we do. It's on this side. So we have this car cigarette lighter output. We have this USB type C 100 watts output and USB type A 18 watt output. Okay, this is the input. So yes, you can use it on its own. However, it is not very popular 
to use it on its own just because even though we have outputs, we don't have that many. Okay, for example, we don't have any AC output there, only DC. And people would just buy it because they want to expand the capacity of uh, AC 200 Max, okay? So right now, let's talk about how we can use it together. But before, I want to tell you that even for a B230, we have a special price right now. So the original price is $1,399 and the discounted price is $1,299. The links are in the comment section. Make sure that you go there and you click on those links. Okay, now how we expand it, how we expand our B230 and our AC200 Max. Um, before you expand it, one more time, maybe we just came here. Let me give you a little bit closer look on the outputs. So number one, we have a USB Type-C 100 watts output, okay, right here for a MacBook, for an iPhone, for our other devices. We have USB-A 18 watts. This is like three watts higher than normally. Normally it would be 15 watts, right now it's 18 watts here. And we have a 12 volts and 10 amp car cigarette lighter. So this is pretty cool. We have three outputs here and we have two inputs. Let's, uh, let me show you some data. So if you're charging your uh, iPhone 11, let's say from this type C output, you can give your iPhone 140 plus full charge. This is just to show you how powerful this battery is. If you're giving your laptop charge, right? If you're giving your laptop a charge, like your MacBook Pro 13, you can give your laptop 33 plus charges. If you give your camera, if you charge your camera, uh, your camera is like 16 watts hour, you can charge the camera for 110 plus times. If you run your fan, which is 30 watts, you can run your fan for 60 plus hours from probably this output right here, cigarette lighter, or maybe a USB. Okay, anyway, guys, this is how you can use a B230 on its own. All right, right now let's connect B230 to A200 Max. And we're gonna be using this Fusion cable to connect them. Um, again, A200 Max can be expanded with one B230, with two B230s, with one B300, or with two B300s. However, it cannot be expanded with one B230 and one B300, or vice versa, only the same types of expansion batteries, okay? works both ways the same so we just plug it in here let's say okay okay plug it in and this one goes up it's called battery extension 51.2 volts dc okay when we plug it in we want to lock it i push it i locked it right now i want to turn it on Okay, I click on it, I turn it on, and we want to check if it's expanded or not. How can we check? We can click on the battery here, and boom, right now we don't only have, we not only have one battery, which is at 38%, which is the battery of S200 Max, we also have a B230 battery right now, 28%. Don't worry, it was 28% when I came here in the studio. <laughs> Normally it would be 100%. Speaking about percentage guys, you will see the percentage here on the battery indicator on this side. Okay, so right now we can see we expanded it with another battery. So we have a higher capacity and a longer battery life. Okay, let's talk about input of B230, okay? Or how can we recharge B230? Number one is AC adapter, okay? AC adapter input. 500 watts maximum input. Next method is a solar input. Again, the maximum would be 500 watts maximum. This is on a good day, on a sunny day, on a um, ideal conditions day. Make sure the VOC, the voltage open circuit, is from 12 to 60 volts and 10 amps. Um, now, another method is car input from 12 or 24 volts cigarette lighter port. Again, you will need Blueetti DO50S car, uh, DO50S DC charting enhancer. Another way is lead exit battery, 12 volt or 24 volts. It's uh, from a cigarette lighter port via Blueetti DO50S. And the maximum input will be again, 
500 watts. What is the O50S or the O50S, whatever you call it? It's a DC charging enhancer. This name is somewhat misleading because it doesn't enhance anything. It does three things. First of all, it enables more charging methods for our portable power stations, okay? For some older, for some older portable power station of ours that we launched like years ago, we don't have um, car, charging, car, charging, car charging method or we don't have the solar, battery, solar panels method. So right now with DO5OS, we do have this opportunity right now. So the first one is to, uh, to, to increase the, the, um, the ways we can recharge it, right? So this is car charting, this is the um, solar panels, okay? This is dual charting sometimes and others. Okay, the second one is to double the solar input. This is the DO50S, by the way. So the second uh, way is to, the second purpose is to double the solar input. So if the solar input was before like 600 watts, for example, right now it's gonna be 1,200 watts. If it was 700 watts, multiplied by two, 1,400 watts. And the third way, the third purpose is to increase the overall capacity of the Blady A200 and A200P by connecting them with B230 and B300. Um, let me just be more specific on this one. So as you guys can see, this is A200 Max. So I have no problem connecting it to B230. I also wouldn't have any problems connecting it to B300. However, if I was using A200 or A200P, I could not expand it without the O5OS. With the O5OS, I can expand it with uh, B230 or B300. So this is how it works. And DO5OS is compatible with B230, B300, EB150, EB240, AC200, AC200P, and AC200 Max, okay? The original price is $199. Discounted price is $159. Let me show you, let me give you a closer look. So here's this Blatty. It's not a small size, but it's actually really lightweight. So here we have this cord and uh, the solar panels. To connect the solar panels, here we have a quite powerful fan. that will keep it nice and cool. And this is pretty much it, guys. So this is the Blatty DC uh, charging enhancer DL50S. Okay, so Right now, guys, as we expanded B230 and A200 Max, and we have two batteries connected together right now, which we can see actually from this screen, we can see the first battery is at 39%, that is the battery of A200 Max itself. A second battery is 28%, this is the battery of, um, of B230. Again, if we charge it before to 100%, they would be both 100%, okay? So they can function properly together, no problem. Guys, again, one of the things about our live stream is that we launch special discounts. So right now, let me tell you guys one more time, for A200 Max, original price is $1,899, okay? And right now, discounted price is $1,799. For B230, original price is $1,399. And discounted price is $1,299. And for our A200 Max plus B230 bundle, original price is $3,298. And now it's only $3,098. Use the link in the comments section, please. And the discounts are only available during the live stream. Guys, please take a look here. And here, here are all discounts, but actual discounts are in the description, in the, in the comment section, in the comment section on Facebook and on YouTube. Also, please follow us here on Facebook, Blady Global, on Instagram, Blady underscore official, on YouTube, Blady official, Blady support, and on Twitter. So for DO5OS, we also have a special price Original price is $199 and discount price is $159. Use the link in the, in the comments section, okay? Okay, guys, and right now, as you probably already know, we still have a solar panel to talk about because 
solar charging is one of those methods you can use to recharge our portable power stations. Okay, so on our official platform website, bladdypower.com, we have many solar panels. They vary by the input and the size, of course. So we have PV120 with a maximum input of 120 watts. We have PV200 with a maximum input of 200 watts. And we have Blady PV350 with a maximum input of 350 watts. Right now, let me put this aside. Okay, let me first turn it off, then disconnect it, unplug it, unlock it, and unplug it. And let's talk about our PV350 right now. Blady solar panels are not the cheapest ones but they're nice because they're just so beautiful. They have a nice cell efficiency, compact size, easy to carry around, and really easy to set up. Okay. So, let's talk about PV350 right now. Okay guys, so this is a big one. I mean, it should be, right? Because it has the maximum input of 350 watts, right? So, the weight is 12.57 uh, pounds. Um, dimensions, unfolded is 21 by 65 inches, and folded, like right now, it's 21 by 18.5 uh, inches. Okay, let's unfold it right now. I'll just click here. Okay, great. So the maximum input is, as it says from the name, 350, 350 watts. So let's unfold it. Also, before you unfold it, you want to make sure that uh, this thing on the back side, this is to set the perfect angle to the sun, because uh, the angle is one of those key factors that will actually influence the amount of solar panel, uh, amount of solar energy you can get from the sun. So, okay, here it is. It's really big, one more time. I told you so, so you know already. Okay. <laughs> so guys, you probably can't even see me right now, can you? Okay, so there we go. So yeah, this is it. Uh, this is how big it gets. So this is PV350 with the maximum input of 350 watts. Cell efficiency is 23.4%. Okay, um, then the material is ETFE, lamination is ETFE. The maximum power voltage is 37.5 volts. Current at max power is 9.2 amps. Open circuit voltage is 46.5 volts. Short circuit current is 10.8 amps. Operating temperature can be anywhere from 14 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit and the best working temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, folding number is, as you guys can count, four. We have four huge panels here. Okay, and again, when it's folded, it's really of a compact size. Right now we have a special discount of $50 off. So original price is $849, and discounted price is $799. Guys, place the discounts right now because it's only valid during the live stream, okay? Don't hesitate, don't wait. Just go to the uh, comments section and click on the link, or we have the code right now, I'm not sure. One more time, the weight is 30.6 pounds. Uh, the length is 94.4 inches. The width is 35.6 inches. And the uh, length, when folded, is 35.6 inches. The width is 24.1 inches, and the height is 2.5 inches. The warranty, we do have the warranty for 24 months, okay? Absolutely hassle-free warranty as for all of our products from Blue Eddy, okay? This is it, guys, okay? Let me fold it back. So, it's big, right? But like, when it's folded, though, it's really compact. Yeah. Okay, great. Plus, here we have those I don't, okay, it's a long way. But however, let me show you, let me use this opportunity to show you what we have right here. So here we have those cords that you need, that you will need 
for to connect it to your solar panels, OK? All right, there we go. So here are all the cores you will need. They are all here, OK, guys? There we go. OK, now you can stay. Now you can rest assured you will have ev everything you need. So you have a half of the cores from here, and half of the cores are included with our portable power stations. Great. The cords. OK, PV 350. Um, 350 watts of maximum solar input. And we have a special price right now, right? It's a $50 off right now or what? But we don't have that much time, guys. How much time we have? Whoa, we only have 15 minutes before the end of our live stream. Just one more time, guys. When it's folded, it's really of a compact size. Just put it in your van. It will not take much space. And there you go. OK, great. This is, guys, PV350. Let me just put it here. I think it's pretty good. OK, so. <laughs> PV350, uh, discount is the code or the link, I don't know. Here are our official platforms, Facebook and Instagram, um, Blady Global and Blady underscore official, Blady, uh, Blady official on YouTube, Blady support on YouTube too, if you wanna find some videos on how to connect different charting methods and we have many, many videos on YouTube, okay? Right now, let's sum it up real quick. So today, we were talking about, we have been talking about EB3A. EB3A is a portable power station. It's really lightweight, really small. However, it's very powerful. 600 watts AC pure sine wave inverter, 1,200 watts of surge, 2,068 watts hour massive capacity, lithium iron phosphate battery with 2,500 plus life cycles, before the battery drops to 80% of its original capacity. And nine outputs for multiple devices, DC, AC, DC, including this wireless charging pad on the top. It's eco-friendly, it's gas free, it's quite as cost effective. What I love about it is how small it is, how lightweight it is, it's only 10.14 pounds. And it's really, really small, as you guys can see. Oh, what is this? Those are the codes, guys. Please use the codes right here and right here. This are not the codes, however. These are just like the original price and discounted price. The codes are in the comments, in the comments on Facebook and on YouTube, okay? Take a look here and here. You can see what the original price is, what discounted price is. You can find the best deal for you guys. You can even purchase EB3A plus PV200. The original price would be $739. And it's current price is $729. You can purchase EB3A plus people had a 20. Original price would be uh, would be $539, and it's current price would be $529. So right now during the live stream, and only 10 minutes left. By the way, you can save a lot of money, guys. So EB3A has a very user-friendly screen, and also despite of having user-friendly but quite simple screen, let's be honest, it doesn't have a touch screen. You, you cannot touch anything here on the screen. I mean, you can, but like you will not be able to control anything by touching. However, you have the app, and the app is awesome. So you can download the app, and you can control everything through the app. So this is just a small portion of discounts, guys. All of discounts are here on the screen, okay? Hopefully, you can see everything. Do I blend into? So anyway, these are all the discounts. Right now, we have one more giveaway. Are we giving away a hat, okay? So let's say, let's see who is our winner of a hat giveaway. This time our winner comes from Facebook, okay? And our winner's name is, hey Facebook, are you here? Make some noise, okay? Facebook winner, Damien Heffernan. Okay, Damien Heffernan, congratulations. Let me spell it, D-A-M-I-A-N-H-E-F-F-E. R-N-A-N, okay? So, dear Damien, please kindly contact Avalyn at bloody.com, Avalyn at bloody.com within 48 hours for, um, for details, okay? And congratulations, you got, you got our hat, right? Did we give away a hat? Yep, a hat, okay, this is the hat. This hat is really nice. I know hats fit me a lot, so you got this hat. Okay, this hat is fantastic. And guys, if you want to win, just like, just like everybody <laughs> does, 
but not you. No, I'm kidding. If you want to win, uh, you just have to be active in the comments, okay? And of course, we have many, many people who are active in the comments. All you want to do is just like stay there, have fun, you know, and one time you will get chosen from, from uh, the comments. So if not this time, please don't get sad, you know. To be honest, I haven't really won, so I understand you. But hey guys, if you want to win, just stay there, you know, and it's fine, guys, just, just have fun. Okay, next, we talked about AC100 Max Modular Solar Generator. Okay, I have it right here, AC100 Max. Oh, boy, for, uh, for blackouts, for power outages, this is absolutely what we need. Three, two, one, lift, okay. <laughs> So this is, uh, it's not that happy, I'm exaggerating. So uh, 2,200 watts AC pure sine wave inverter, 4,800 surge, 2,048 watts hour, this is the capacity. The chemistry inside is lithium iron phosphate battery with 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of its original capacity. It's expandable with two B230s and you will get the capacity as high as 6,145 four watts hour and it's also expandable with two b300s and you will get the capacity as high as 8192 watts hour seven ways to recharge it ac solar car generator lead battery dual ac ac plus solar and the maximum solar input is 900 watts and the maximum fast dual charging is 1300 watts. It has a smart control and a monitor in Blue Eddy app. And of course, it does have a discount. We marked the price down from $1,899 to only $1,799. Guys, please make sure you're quick enough because we only have five minutes before the end of our live stream. Okay, so make sure that you are very, very quick. Okay, next one is our B230 expansion battery. Okay, so B230, capacity of 2048 watts hour, 51.2 volts, 40 amps hour. Type of the battery is the same, lithium iron phosphate battery. A life cycle is 3,500 plus life cycles before the battery drops to 80% of the original capacity. Management system is MPPT controller, BMS, etc. Original price is $1,399. Discount price is $1,299. Please use the link in the comments. You can see the prices here and here. And you can see the original price and discounted price. And you guys can see how much you can save right now. Oh, but we only have five minutes left. So please be very, very quick. Again, one more time for AC200 Max right here. Original price is $1,899. Discounted price, $1,799. Use the link in the description, in the comments, in the comments. Then uh, B230, original price is $1,399. Discounted price, $1,299. Use the link in the comments. AC200 Max plus B230 bundle together, original price, $3,298. Discounted price, $3,098. So guys, please use the links in the comments to save a lot of money right now and only now as all of our discounts are only valid during the live stream, okay? So please be very, very quick, guys. I'm not even kidding. So guys, right now, we want to move to PV350, and PV350 is a solar panel of ours, so um, I'm exaggerating. I'm just a weak guy, so it's not that heavy, actually. PV350, maximum input of 350 watts, uh, cell efficiency is 23.4% and you will learn all those details. Okay, you can learn them on the website, bladypower.com, or you can learn them from the user manual. But for now, because we don't have that much time left, guys, so I would love to use it wisely and I would love to say, say guys, that um, discounts are right now, they're real, okay? Just 
click those links in the comments. Okay, guys, don't hesitate, don't put it off, and just go ahead and get it right now. Right now is the best time to purchase it. Also, if you're thinking, yeah, good discounts, mm, and good product too, but right now, I don't even see myself using it, no problem. Get them right now, it takes like one or two weeks to arrive to your place, okay? And second, you can store it, no problem. You can put it inside, it won't take much space, and you can even store it for like six months without using it. Just like recharge it one, once within three to six months, once, and that's it. So if you want to buy it right now, but don't see yourself using it, my advice would be still buy it because you can use it as a UPS device, you can use it as a power outages device. So, you know, you never know when the next blackout is going, going to happen or the next power outage is going to happen. So just try it. And you never know when something bad is going to happen, but when you have this source of portable power at home, you feel safe, you're on a safe side, okay guys? And the best, the, best, the best prices are only during the live stream. And by the way, probably I forgot to say, right now, today we have the last day of Prime Day discounts, right? So today is the last day of Prime Day discounts, guys. Mm, and so during the live stream, we have even better prices than the Prime Day. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, Blady. And also don't forget to visit our website, bladypower.com. Again, today is the last day of Prime Day discounts. And during the live stream, guys, discounts are the best. Again, all of the prices are here and here, guys. Make sure you use them right now. We only have like two minutes left before the, live, before the end of the live stream. Congratulations to all of our winners who got our beautiful hats, who got our uh, T-shirts and K2 Power Banks. Okay. Let's sum it up. Blady EB3A, original price $249, discounted price $239. The next one, the code is in the comments. Okay. Then we have EB3A plus PV200. Uh, right now is only $729. And EB3A plus PV120, right now is only $529. Okay. So you're saving $10 as opposed to the original price, but the scouts get even better if we're talking about bigger portable power stations of ours, such as, for example, a Hadid Mac. But right now, DO5OS, DC Charlie Enhanced, original price is $199, discounted price $159. AC to Hadid Max, $1,899, becomes only $1,790. So if you're saving $10 for EB3A, you're also saving $100 for Ace 200 Max. B230 expansion battery. Original price is $1,399. Discount price $1,299. Again, you're saving $100, guys. And penny saved is penny earned. And Ace 200 Max plus B230 bundle. Okay. So, original price is $3,296 and its current price is $3,098. Okay, so this is it. I actually saw they make models like take pictures like this, carrying this around. So, <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Blady PV350 solar panel, original price $849. This current price is $799. 350 watts of input is pretty cool, guys. Let's face it. And cell efficiency of 23.4 watts. Okay, running out of time. See you. We'll see you on July the 19th, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Okay, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I don't know what time zone you're in, but I want you to see the alarm clock and I want you to, go, uh, to come back um, on the July the 19th, okay, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Facebook and on YouTube. Follow, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.